Good morning, students. I am Ms. Rosado, and I am very happy to be able to sit down and read a book to you. And if you're looking at the screen, you know the book is called Click, Clack, Moo, Cows That Type. And this is a book that was written a very long time ago when people did not use computers to write on paper, but they actually used a machine called a typewriter. And well, these are very strange cows that know how to type. <gasps> and they write letters on this machine called a typewriter. But I'm sure you're going to enjoy it, so just relax and we begin. Click, clack, moo, cows that type by Doreen Cronin, pictures by Betsy Lewin. Click, clack, moo, cows that type. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears, click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, click, clickety, clack, Moo! At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible! Click, clack, moo! Click, clack, moo! Clickety, clack, moo! Then, he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold, too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed, no milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety-clack, moo. Cows that type, hens on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? How could I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was a neutral party. That means that he wasn't on either side. So he brought the ultimatum to the cows. <gasps> the cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Oh boy, children, I'm almost afraid to turn the page. I don't even know what's going to happen. What do you think the cows are going to do? Okay, I'm going to turn the page. I'm going to be brave. Let's see what happens. <gasps> Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. 
leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Farmer Brown decided this was a good idea. deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with a typewriter. Hey, it seems everything turned out fine. See, the cows would give the farmer the typewriter and the farmer just gave the cows the electric blankets. No more notes. But is it really the end of the story? Let's turn the page to see. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety clack, quack. <laughs> and that is the end. What a really funny story. And if I look at the last picture, it seems they did get a diving board. Well, this is the story of Clickety Clack Moo. I hope you enjoyed it, because I certainly did. See you next time. Bye.